time to get on this aircraft. We have arrived. That's me walking in the queue for ice breaker. Done. Happy days. Hopefully the GoPro worked and you have just seen it. The nice next guy here in Orlando is stunning. So happy to be here. Hello everybody and welcome. Hope you're all safe and well. I'm currently at Manchester Airport and it's travel day. I'm on my way to Orlando International and I cannot wait. It's about four or five hours before my flight, so I have absolutely loads of time. I'm just going to jump through security now and then try and get myself something to eat because I've not ate yet and I'm starving. Right guys, if this is your first time on the channel, my name's Pete. Um, thanks, thanks for watching, uh, great to have you with us. If you're returning, uh, thanks again for supporting again. Um, hope you enjoy the vlogs. This is just a mini vlog series to Orlando. Three nights, uh, three full days, and an extra night on travel day. Um, I'm gonna get loads done though. I'll be out early in the morning and home late at night, uh, pretty much recording all day long to hopefully create lots of great vlogs to help you guys at home plan your trip. Now on the 12.25 instead of the 1.40, so an extra hour and 15 minutes in Orlando, happy days. Um, I plan to go to SeaWorld this evening, so that extra hour and 15 minutes will be valuable. Fingers crossed, there's no delays. I'm staying three nights, as I said, I'm staying at three different hotels as well, uh, primarily just to give you guys uh, an extra sort of vlog review of the hotel, so I'll do a full hotel review and let you guys see where they are. So the three hotels I'm staying at is, there's one I've stayed at before, which is the Double Tree next door to Universal. Uh, it's a brilliant located hotel if you're going to uh, Universal Orlando and it's good value for money and very good quality. I've got a full hotel review of that hotel uh, already up on YouTube so you can go and check that out if you like. I'll link it in the description for ease and convenience. And in addition to that, I'm staying at Double Tree at SeaWorld. I've stayed there before a couple of times. I've never vlogged it, so I'll do a full hotel uh -huh. review there. Again, it's just a walking distance to SeaWorld, so perfectly located. Also, we're staying at Rosen Inn at the Point Orlando on International Drive. That's on Saturday evening. Never stayed there. It's a real budget value hotel, but apparently a good level of quality for your money. I purchased myself a new microphone for this vlogging trip. Um, I had forgot to put it on this morning, sorry, a little bit of tiredness. Uh, I've just put it on now, so hopefully the audio quality has just improved a little bit for you. Uh, give us a thumbs up, hit that like button if it has, that'd be superb. Um, should be a lot less background noise. noise. There should be a lot less background noise all going to plan, so we'll check this mic out this this trip, hopefully that will improve the vlogs for you guys. I am flying Virgin Atlantic from Manchester that arrives into the older terminal in Orlando International. Uh, with landing into the new terminal Orlando, which I did the first two times, um, you collect your luggage and then you do the immigration. So with hand luggage, I'm always pretty much the first for my flight and in the immigration queue and I've never really had the queue which has been perfect because everyone's had that extra 10 or 15 minutes waiting for a luggage. The terminal A, the old terminal, um, it's the case where you go through immigration first and then you pick up your luggage, therefore uh, it's every man for themselves when they get off the flight. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be too much for queue because uh, as I say I'm desperate to get to see world tonight. Uh, if the flight's on time I should be because I'm a due to arrive in at half past four and SeaWorld's on till nine o'clock so I could have a good two or three hours and hopefully fingers crossed 
get on a roller coaster or two. If you've watched the vlogs before, you'll know that. Um, let's, how do we put this? I'm keen to do the roller coasters, but I can be a little bit scared. I've only started doing them in recent years, and I've been going to Orlando since I was a young boy. Um, and don't get me wrong, I absolutely loved my trips without the roller coasters, but I was just too scared. I was just uh, get worried in my head and just couldn't uh, push myself on. A little bit of mind over matter for me, so sometimes I do talk myself out of it. Um, hopefully I'll get on a couple tonight. Um, stay tuned for that, and we'll, we'll, we'll all find out shortly. Um, but I just I love I love the buzz when you get off, and at the end of the day, like it's two or three minutes. You know, hopefully fingers crossed, no one gets hurt, and you you enjoy it, and you have a bit of a buzz, and yeah, have a bit of fun. Um, so yeah, hopefully do a couple of roller coasters in SeaWorld tonight. My plan for this trip is a lot of SeaWorld, a lot of Universal, and possibly a little bit of Disney. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think I might go over one evening. Um, it's August, so it's going to be boiling hot, humidity is going to be really high, but that, that's even with the, the hot weather and the high humidity, we're, we're just going to enjoy ourselves. Um, also, this time of year being August, a high chance of thunderstorms throughout the summer in Orlando and a lot of the year you often get a, a thunderstorm or a rain shower at some point and if you've ever been there you'll know uh, Orlando knows exactly how to rain so I've got a few ponchos with me a spare pair of trainers too because my trainers get soaked and I can't have the walk about all weekend and soaking trainers so I've got a spare pair of trainers hopefully they both won't both be soaked at the same time if one does get wet and the sun comes back out you just sit them out for half an hour and they'll dry up so I've got ponchos, an umbrella, a spare pair of trainers kind of prepared for these thunderstorms. Uh, fingers crossed again, uh, touch wood as my wife would say, that we don't get too affected. But I'll be up first thing, I'll be in the park for entry. Generally speaking, the rain and thunderstorms are later on in the afternoon. So if you do have plans for outdoor rides, because when the thunderstorms come, a lot of the outdoor rides have to close uh, for safety reasons. So if you've got big plans that you really want to do, a few outdoor rides then just plan to do them in the morning it's a great tip plan try and get them done in the morning so you, you know you've got them done because in the afternoon if it does rain for a few hours and the rides close you've got absolutely no control over that whatsoever so i'll be in the park first thing get all those outside rides done i will say one thing about this new mic now i've got it to improve the audio so, uh, the audio so I've got it to improve the audio and hopefully it'll improve the vlogs for you guys at home and, and that's what it's all about, it's all about you guys enjoying the vlogs. But it's a bit heavy on the camera, um, I'm not really the, the strongest guy in the world. <laughs> um, I'm starting to get a sore arm just lifting, just holding this camera. Absolutely pathetic, eh? but hopefully that won't be too bad over the holiday. If it is, it'll be back to the poorer audio. Um, oh, I'm sure it'll get away with it. Oh, jeez. There we go. A wee change of arm, give this right shoulder a rest. This big heavy mic I've got on. Fun times, fun times. The life of a wannabe amateur YouTube trying to improve himself, eh? Nightmare at the top of the bottom, folks, I'll tell you that for free. The gate has been called, gate 206. aircraft. Hopefully I'm going to get a little nap. arrived 
I am currently walking through my hotel, which is the Double Tree by Hilton at SeaWorld. Last time we spoke was just when I was boarding the airplane. Um, so I'm here safe and sound. I am checked into my hotel and I am on my way to SeaWorld. At the back of this hotel, there is a walkway to SeaWorld. It's maybe five, 10 minutes max. So I'm just gonna head over there now. Um, it's seven o'clock local time, so I've got two hours left in the theme park. Not too bad. My flight with Virgin Atlantic was excellent. Absolutely no complaints whatsoever. I managed to change to the earlier flight. So I left an hour and 20 minutes before my originally scheduled flight. Um, but I managed to get a window seat, which was perfect. Um, there was a child sitting behind me, which was also perfect because I have a bad back, so I could recline without any guilt. <laughs> uh, I know that reclining on aircraft is a bit of a topical subject. Some people are for and against it. Um, I have a bad back, so I have a little option I need to recline to an extent just to make sure my back's not in too much pain when I arrive. So that was good news. Um, and there was a spare seat in the middle next to me again happy days can use that for stuff and the chap sitting in the, the aisle seat I uh, got talking to um, hope you got to the apartment safely Dan um, he was a good guy so it was nice to meet a, a stranger and just have a bit of a bit of chat a uh, lovely bloke from Leeds so hope, hope all was well hope you have a great holiday Dan if you're watching or hope you've had a great holiday if you're watching um, as I said I'm currently walking over to SeaWorld and I think we spoke earlier about would I or would I not do roller coaster as well. Time will tell. <laughs> we'll be short. We'll be in there shortly. Um, it is dry at the minute, um, so hopefully it stays dry. And I can see a couple of roller coasters going, so there can't be any weather in the area. So yep, it looks like we might be good for a coaster. The in-flight entertainment system with Virgin was the best. I've been on this year. I flew with Aer Lingus, British Airways and Virgin this year to Orlando and I thought the in-flight entertainment system was the best with Virgin. Also the food was extremely good. I was only sitting in economy but it was very, very good quality, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not particularly bothered about the flight. It's, if it's a bad flight or poor quality, it's not something I get too irate about. Um, for me it's just a method of getting from A to B. Uh, the, the fun and the enjoyment is here in Orlando, not, not in the flight for me personally. I know that a lot of people do like their comforts and things on the flight, that's not for me, but um, out of the three of them, definitely Virgin would get, would get my vote for sure. Uh, so that was nice, a little bit of extra comfort, but the food did surprise me. Usually airline food is pretty, pretty poor. You'll have seen on the clip earlier, I got the spinach and ricotta pasta, came with a lovely mozzarella salad and a delicious chocolate sort of dessert, so happy days. Belly was filled. Also got a little nap on the flight, I think I got about an hour. Um, so that sort of recharged the batteries a little bit for this evening. So we've got a couple hours here at SeaWorld. The plan, the hope, is to do a couple of roller coasters and also see the fireworks. There's a big firework. Uh, show on tonight, so looking forward to that. Let's go and do this. Just a little mic update. My microphone is heavier. I said that at the airport, and I can certainly feel that extra strain on these weak, puny arms. But I'll battle on through because I believe the audio quality will be a bit crisper and have a lot less background noise. So that'll be great for you guys at home. Hopefully, my arms will just have to manage somehow. <laughs> Um, I said earlier I don't really go to the gym, so I'm not a muscular guy. Um, I mean, I do have a gym membership, I just don't really use it too often. Uh, one of those sort of ornaments, something you pay for you don't use. Oh, there we go. I can see Pipeline, the standing up roller coaster in the background. Looks fun, he says very sarcastically. Surely I've got to go on it at some point this trip. Um, not sure it'll be tonight. You will find out. Yes, I'll come back to you. Then I'll ask what have we done. Land
ended just over two hours ago, and that's me walking through the gates of SeaWorld. Happy days. So, I'm going to make my way around to the Icebreaker roller coaster and see if I can get myself on that. I think that's going to be the first roller coaster of this trip. Um, SeaWorld's really quiet tonight. The wait times are really, really short, five, ten minutes, so there shouldn't be any problem there. Um, it looks like by the ground that uh, there already has been rain and the area, so hopefully there won't be much bad weather either. That's me walking in the queue for Icebreaker. I'll be honest, I am trying to talk myself out of going on this, <laughs> but I'm going to do it. Oh, why, why, why? I'm sure I'll get the buzz afterwards, I'll be absolutely thrilled to bits, but here we go. Hope you enjoy it. It says a 30 minute wait, but the queue looks tiny. Can't imagine it being that. I've got the GoPro on for the first time, so hopefully you'll get to see some footage. Watch this space. Oh. Nerves. Happy days. What a stunningly beautiful night here in Orlando. I'm sure this camera will not do it justice, but it's absolutely beautiful. There's Pipeline in the background. That's a stand-up surf roller coaster. I've yet to do that, but I'm definitely going to be doing it. I'm just off Icebreaker. I'll tell you all about that in a wee moment. So I am not long off. Uh, the icebreaker roller coaster. Hopefully, the GoPro worked and you have just seen it. Um, it amazes me how much my mindset flips from queuing to dreading it to having done it and loving it. <laughs> so it was it was good. First time I'd done the icebreaker. Really, really good. Enjoyed that one. For anyone that hasn't done icebreaker, um, it's it's relatively short. It goes backwards. It goes forwards. Um, there's a launch, so when I was in the queue for Icebreaker there was actually a short delay, the ride did go down and um, I did think for a second that was my excuse to do a quick exit but I didn't, I hung around for a while so it did take around half an hour in the end, the queue moved really slow actually and I also queued longer for front row so you guys got a good perspective of the GoPro, I'm really hoping that GoPro worked, I'll be gutted if it hasn't. Um, but yeah, hopefully you'll have seen that and you, you can laugh, <laughs> it's fine. Um, but yeah, that'll give you kind of point of view of the GoPro and a little view of me at the start, uh, quite nervous. This is my first time walking through Sesame Street. Um, just having a wee look to see what's there with my two young boys in mind. Uh, they're five and three. It looks like it would be right up their street. Um, no pun intended there. So let's have a wee look, see what's here. There is a splash pad in the background there. I don't want to get too close because there are young children playing in it. But that looks like tremendous fun. I'm not quite sure I'd ever get my boys away from it. 
I'll come back again tomorrow, I think, and have a further look at that in the daylight. But Sesame Street area does look uh, ideal for the youngsters. I would imagine that they could spend several hours in here. There's a few little rides. There's a splash pad uh, for the warm days. Um, there's a play park. And obviously there's kind of food outlets and stuff. So you can spend a good few hours in there alone with the youngsters, I'd imagine. Uh, I'm sure my boys will absolutely love it when we come here. So if you do have kids uh, and a great area of the park to come to, uh, SeaWorld's actually a really good park to come to with kids. Tell you what, I did not fancy Infinity Falls at this time of night. It's a water raft ride. I'll show you in a wee second. Uh, you get quite wet on it and it's half past eight so it's getting a wee bit cooler. Fair play to everyone going on. What an absolutely beautiful skyline. The night sky here in Orlando is stunning. So happy to be here. I'm currently making my way round to the Bayside Stadium for the Ignite fireworks display. Um, again, I've never seen this before. It's uh, part of SeaWorld's summer uh, schedule. So looking forward to see if this is any good. Be a nice way to finish the night. I'll be honest, I'm starting to flag a little bit, getting a wee bit tired, uh, but it's been a great day so far. Travel day has gone absolutely to plan. That's me watch the firework display here at SeaWorld, and I'm just going to head on out of the park now. Great little evening. That ends our evening at Sea World and also end our travel day. Look, guys, thank you all for watching, it's much appreciated. Um, not a bad day in the end at all. Got on icebreaker on the roller coaster, fucked up the courage. Travel day went sweet as a nut, cannot complain. Look, thanks for watching, guys. If you could like, subscribe, that would be superb. See you next time. Cheers.